Tonight, new legal challenges could affect the state's plan to execute its remaining death row inmates this week. Arkansas officials say right now they are preparing to move forward. Jack Jones Jr. and Marcel Williams are scheduled to be put to death tomorrow night. Both have appealed the decision by District Court Judge Christine Baker, who denied their requests to block the executions. For both Jones and Williams, their lawyers argued that the inmates' health issues could cause problems during their executions. On Friday, Baker ruled against the inmates, saying their argument, quote, falls short of demonstrating a significant possibility that the Arkansas protocol is sure or very likely to cause severe pain and needless suffering. Jones was convicted for raping and murdering a 34-year-old bookkeeper and beating her 11-year-old daughter. Williams was convicted for kidnapping, raping, and killing a 22-year-old woman in Little Rock. On Thursday night, Arkansas inmate Liddell Lee was put to death by lethal injection shortly before midnight. DOC director asked inmate Lee if he had any last words, and uh, she actually asked him twice, and he, he did not respond. The inmates have argued that the drug midazolam could cause complications, possibly leading to a botched execution. But witnesses say it appeared the execution went as planned and Lee did not suffer. The inmate appeared to lose consciousness very quickly. Um, didn't, I mean, within a matter of minutes, his eyes closed. A lethal injection was administered at 11.44 p.m. and the coroner pronounced Liddell Lee dead at 11.56 p.m. this 20th day of April. There are two final executions scheduled for Thursday as well, Kenneth Williams and Jason McGeehee. However, McGeehee's execution has been put on hold after the state parole board recommended clemency for him. We're going to bring you the latest updates on Arkansas's executions on 4029 News tomorrow and on 4029TV.com. You can download the 4029 News app to receive breaking news alerts and more information. Find that in the Google Play and Apple App Stores.